Speaking of throwing away draft picks, Chase Young signed with the Saints because they apparently didn't watch him last year. The Niners last year traded a third round pick for Chase Young because they apparently didn't watch him in Washington. Washington th- took the third round pick and they're pretty pleased. I'd imagine. What do you think of that trade in retrospect? Um, I'm going to come around in a little circular way. I have actually mentioned this before, but I'll say it again. During the playoffs, a former 49er coach phoned me and said, Lowell, have you watched Chase Young play? And I said, yeah. And I said, well, what do you think of it? And he said, quote, his play is disgusting. He disgusts me. Uh, this is a former 49er coach. His He disgusts me, meaning he doesn't play hard, meaning he takes plays off, meaning he goes through the motions. And he, this coach also said, Washington knew it. How come the Niners didn't know it? So I'm uh, I'm glad they didn't re-sign him, but they sure gave up too much for him. You know, but here's, I think it wasn't their fault. It was a clerical error. It was a clerical, they meant to trade for someone else. Yeah, they <laughs> meant to trade. They meant to trade for someone else, but they didn't have the counter yeah. there. And they put in some uh, Chase Young's name by accident, yeah. but they which <laughs> they were trying to create. Would you agree with me? Yeah, they were trying to get Montez Sweat, the other DN from Washington, who's now on the Bears and is actually good. Um, the Niners got the other guy the, the, because he went to Ohio State with Nick Bosa. I mean, the things they told themselves, like, yeah, okay, he's been a total, complete disappointment who doesn't play hard for the Washington uh, Commanders, but Nick Bosa will get him to play hard. What? How was that Nick Bosa's job? Nick Bosa isn't even playing as hard as this year. Like he's got nine sack. What are you talking about? It was funny too. Was before the Niners lost the Super Bowl when Jed York came out and took that little victory lap before the Super Bowl. One of the things he did while patting himself on the back was like, you know, a lot of teams, (laughs) a lot of teams wouldn't trade a third round pick for half a season of Chase Young, but we did because we're all in. It's like. (laughs) <laughs> nice dude did did you want to do that like, were you, did you go to the team and say I, I got an idea guys I let's spare no expense I like Chase Young <laughs> uh, it, it could have happened that way um, I think we could say um, either it was a clerical error or it was a massive misjudgment yeah and it was again it was hubris like Washington doesn't know like they, they took Chase Young with the second pick in the draft you don't think they were going to give him every opportunity to show that he had some passion for football? And the fact that they were willing to trade him for a third-round pick means that they were giving up? No, no, no. They don't know. It's pretty funny. Their GM right now is Adam Peters, who came from the Niners, so he benefited. Right. Hey, thanks. Right. <laughs> anyway, I think the Niners are done throwing away draft picks for now. For now but we'll have to see. Jeff Caravella says Bills lost by one point in their first Super Bowl. The rest weren't close. Thank you so So much, Jeff. So I'm saying Kyle has really cornered the market on how to lose by a little bit. Dustin, the Gale fiction book recommendations. Apology for the typo. Okay. Um, Here's the deal. Um, I'm reading fiction all the time. And a lot of times I like to read thrillers. So I'm reading through the whole Jack Reacher series by um, Lee Child. And the first one is Killing Floor. I, I think it came out in 1997. It it's a hell of a good book. And Iggy and I, we were both English majors. We looked at the book and we really analyzed the first paragraph. Yeah. Every, it's, it's an all-time great first paragraph. It yeah. introduces everything you need to know about that character in a few sentences. So Yeah, maybe 30 or 40 words. Some kind yeah. Of, yeah. So it's I believe it's called Killing Floor. Uh, the Jack Reacher series, R E A C H E R. But whatever the first book is, start with that. Centennial, some, 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 Mr. and Dr. Cohn, I propose <laughs> trade for the president of accounting on the Washington Jews. They're doing a good job so far I, over there. I, I love it. And, and you know, Jews are good with money uh, and numbers. We, we, we run the world economy. Everybody knows that. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, you, Dad, that's that's anti-Semitic. You can't say that. It's anti-Semitic. Jewish. You, can We're Jewish. you could say it. 
Remember that time we were in uh, New York when I was 14 and the Hasidic Jew tried to convert me? It's true. And I finally had to tell him we were in Washington Square Park yeah. in Washington Square. Yeah. It's, look, let's get the hell out of here, right? Like That's, even I wasn't Jew enough, Jewish enough for that guy. We weren't they, Jewish they, enough. They're, they're recruiting in New York. And they're like, are you, are you Jewish? You're Jewish, aren't you? How did you know? Yeah, I am Jewish. Yeah, but you're not Jewish enough. Like, okay, <laughs> let's let's fix that right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you and me and my friend Stewie, right? Stewie yeah. was there with us. In Washington Square Park. Uh, redirect resources to hiring a mental game coach for Kyle. Everything <laughs> would be better. Guy's brain is a bad neighborhood in close games. <laughs> oh, a I love the game image. coach. Yeah, I love Remember it. when we were watching the, the national championship and uh, uh, Michigan's quarterback, J.J. McCarthy, had his therapist on the sideline and they would have little check-ins? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Kyle should have that. <laughs> his therapist on the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> he should definitely have that. The coach says, I told hey. y'all uh, Jog Young was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kinda, you, can't, you can't go by Chase until you run a little harder. <laughs> Coach, that made my day. Jog Young. That is so good. Mike in Houston, or as, or as you would say, Houston. Mike Houston. in Houston. Lowell, I was in NYC last week and stopped by Katz's for a pastrami and rye. What's your favorite deli? Well, a lot of them have gone out. You know, the Carnegie Deli, the Stage Deli. I, I went to Katz's a few years ago with Ira Miller and... uh I, I got I I prefer corned beef and I got a corned beef on rye with with a lot of uh, sauerkraut and the great mustard and yeah and and a, a sour pickle. <laughs> they also have surprisingly good um, Jewish delis in Palm Springs. Two of them, yeah, yeah, and Shreman's, they got crepe and, 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 which is good. Uh, Sherman's and Manhattan in the desert. Yep. Uh, Sherman's does not have Kreplak soup, but Manhattan in the desert does. They should get that. It's like wonton hey, listen, soup, Jewish style. It's really listen, good. Listen, uh, Kreplak is like a wonton. So my mom, Eve, we used to you know, go to Chinese food all the time, right down the street. But she wouldn't call the wontons wonton. She said, lowly, lowly, could I have some more Kreplak? He was interpreting it as Yiddish. That's funny. He was so sweet. They are really good. They are like wontons. Yeah. I wish they had stuff like that in the Bay Area, but we're just not quite Jewish enough out here. No, you can get it at Saul's. At Saul's uh, in, in Berkeley. You can get Kreplak soup. Oh. Saul's stepping their game up. 